So as you've seen so far, when it comes to objects, we use it quite often inside JavaScript. But did you know that the browser itself is also an object? And when we want to get good at using JavaScript, we also need to understand how the browser is an object and how we can interact with it. Now, when we refer to the browser as an object, we call it something named the BOM. And the BOM is something we can refer to inside our JavaScript code in order to do something to change how the browser behaves inside uh, the browser. Now, some examples of what we can do using the BOM is to, for example, get the inner width or the outer width of the browser. We can also go ahead and open and close tabs inside the browser. We can do a lot of different things, and I will leave a link in the description. We can read up about all the different things we can do using the BOM. However, when it comes to JavaScript, we don't really use the BOM when we want to interact with anything inside the browser. Instead, we use something called the DOM. Now, DOM stands for Document Object Model, which is part of the BOM, meaning that the DOM is inside the browser object model. And it's what we actually use to interact with the website when we want to change content inside the website we have open inside the browser. And you have actually seen examples of when we have actually used the document object model to do something inside a website in some of the previous episodes. For example, when we write document.query selector, for example, to select a certain class or ID tag inside the browser, then we use the document object model to get something inside the website. Again, by using the document dot something keyword. And the same thing goes for the bomb. If I want to access something inside the browser, I can do so by using the window dot something keyword. So if I want to close or open tabs, I can use window dot close parentheses or window dot open parentheses in order to do this inside the browser. But like I said, in most cases, we're going to use the DOM in order to manipulate websites. So let's go ahead and talk about how the DOM actually works. Now, inside the DOM, we have what is called nodes. And nodes is something we've actually seen plenty of times before, even when you do just HTML and CSS, because when you have any kind of opening and closing tag using HTML, for example, we were to say we have a body tag that opens and closes or a header tag that opens and closes. That header or body element is going to be a node inside the document object model. And we have a lot of these inside our website. When you load your website into the browser, it actually creates this tree of nodes based off your website. And you can actually see this tree if you were to inspect your website and go inside the developer tool. All the HTML and CSS you see inside of here are what you call nodes inside your website. And inside these nodes, you're going to have other nodes nested inside of them, meaning that if you were to have a anchor element inside a header element, then the anchor element is going to be nested inside the header element. And the header element is going to be nested inside the body element. The body element is going to be nested inside the document element, which is the top hierarchy when it comes to the document object model. And the same thing goes for the DOM, which is nested inside the BOM. And inside the BOM, the highest hierarchy is going to be the window. So we have a complete hierarchy when nodes are nested inside other nodes inside a website and even inside a browser. Now, you might be asking, why do you need to know about this when writing JavaScript? Well, when you load a website into the browser, you're going to get this node tree that gets created the first time the browser loads up your website. Now, when we want to make changes in real time using JavaScript, because remember in the first episode, I mentioned that HTML and CSS get loaded first because the browser creates a DOM when the website is loaded, which is based off all the content inside the website. We can then later on using JavaScript go into the DOM and make changes to it. So if we want to change content in between a pair of paragraph tags or even change out parts of the HTML markup that we have inside the website, we can do so using JavaScript because we can make changes to the DOM using JavaScript. And changing the DOM is a huge part of JavaScript when you want to do anything inside a website. So it's very important to know about the BOM and the DOM and how we can make changes to it. So in the next many episodes, we're going to talk about how we can make changes to the DOM and create something using JavaScript we can actually see inside a website. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode.